Uh, welcome to No Limit Computers. All right. Today we're gonna to be looking what you call VET. A VET is an abbreviation for what you call a uh, value added. It's a value added tax. All right. This tax was introduced by government in 1991. All right. What is the purpose of this tax? This tax. It is being charged on, on goods and, and services. The purpose of this test, government wanted to raise funds in order to do what? To support education system, all right? To build schools, to build infrastructure, to improve clinics, and so forth, all right? So value the tax is the tax is levied on certain goods and, and services. All this time along, the base was charged 14 percent the percentage that was charged on that was called a standard rate the current standard rate now is what it is it is 15 percent which means this is the new rate that is charged on all goods and services it is 15 percent all right i think we've already explained the reason why government charges this type of bet all right so there is what you call that input. This is the VAT that is charged or we are being charged as a business on all the items that we buy from our suppliers. So we bring VAT inside the business from suppliers. So we say it's VAT input. It's, an in, it's a VAT that is charged by us from purchases. Then we have what we call a VAT output. A VAT output is the VAT that we as a business charges to our customer. So this is a VAT that is charged on sales because we sell to our customer. All right? We will find that as a business that will collect tax. All right? In order for a business to collect tax, it has to be registered by government. And a government register a business or by compulsor is there should be a business that makes more than a million a, a per annum. All right. Therefore, this business will be registered as what you call a bad vendor. This business is more than one million per, per annum. Unless the business wants to volunteer in order to do what? In order to collect a tax on behalf of, of self, all right? There are businesses that does not want to pay tax or there are individuals in the world that, that, that doesn't want to pay tax. And if a person is running away from paying tax, we say it is called tax evasion. This person is doing something which is illegal and he does not as well. He does not pay, pay tax, all right? And if a person now find ways to reduce the tax that should be handed over to SARS, we call that tax avoidance. This person will find that he will donate because he wants to reduce a tax that is paid to SARS. And this is, it is legal, which means it's acceptable for a business to conduct an avoidance. It's a, it's a legal activity, but then evasion is illegal activity all right so we have our standard rate input output vest vendor tax evasion and tax avoidance all right so now we move to what we call zero rated item that we cannot charge vet number six where there are items which are zero rated which means the standard rate will not be charged but then the best will be charged at zero percent Businesses that are charging VAT at 0% can claim a reduction from SARS of what? Of the 0%, all right? They are charging 0% on items such as, such as milk, such as brown bread, such as oil and what? And fuel. These things are charged zero rated, which means the government may choose one day to to do us to charge five percent VAT. Right now, their standard 
their, their, their base rate is zero percent. Now, number seven, we are looking at what goods which are exempted from, okay, from paying tax. These goods do not pay tax at all, and they cannot claim any reduction from SARS. We are referring to what you call educational educational uh, educational services we are referring to uh, trade union membership they don't pay tax on their membership from SATU, SATAU, NATU they don't pay tax on those type of things and also they don't pay tax on things like what on things like a uh, housing services they don't pay tax on such things all right so i think we are done with the theory part now let's look at the standard rate calculation uh, here we're going to say it's a here and here we're going to say it's b here it's going to be c d e f n and g so from all that calculators we are seeing, we need to calculate the VAT amount using the standard rate of 14%. All right, let's just erase these things so we'll be able to do what to calculate. All right, before we go any further, let's do what? Let's get to know all the applicable formulas that we need in order for us to calculate the VAT. The formula that we need to use, all right, it is the following. If you want to calculate an amount that is exclusive of that, it's going to be over 100%. Why do we say that? It's because the VAT amount, it is 15%. A percentage is always over 100. So if it's exclusive, which means your percentage of 15 have not yet been added to the 100%. This is what you call VAT exclusive. And the VAT amount is obviously 15%. This is our VAT. And the inclusive is going to be 115%. This is what you call VAT inclusive. How do we get 115%? We are saying the exclusive VAT and we are adding the 15% of VAT. Therefore, we get 115 so simple the principle is very simple you will always divide by what you have and multiply by what you are looking for let's look at a a is very simple you are given two figures for a the best method that anyone can take is to say five five thousand seven hundred and fifty minus what minus five thousand and our answer will be seven hundred and fifty all right if we like we may decide that we want to use a, a formula all right if we are using a formula we can say 5750 this amount is inclusive if it's inclusive which means it's over 150 because we are looking for the best amount which is a we we'll multiply by by 15 you will see if we say 5 5000 5, 5750 divided by 115 Multiply by 15, you are supposed to get your 750. So this is how we get A. Or we can use the 5,000. It is the same thing all over because this amount is, is what? Is exclusive, which means 100%. All over 100, multiply by, by 15, you are supposed to get the 750 again, which is very simple. All right? So this is our A. We go into our B. This is our B. Here we are only giving what? The VAT exclusive, which, in, which means it is what? It is 115%. We are saying 800,000, 8,000 I mean, sorry, divided by 115, multiplied by what? Multiplied by 15. We are looking for B. Then 8,000 all over 115, multiplied by 15, therefore, uh, multiplied by I mean, 8,000 divided by 100, 8,000 divided by 100, multiply by, by 15, we are supposed to be getting the 1,200. This is your best amount for B. If you are looking for C, all right, which is C, 
you will use the very same amount, 8,000 all over 100, doesn't support 115 years, supposed to be 100, because this amount is bad, exclusive, exclusive is over 100, so it's supposed to be 100 here. All over 100, multiplied by, inclusive we know it's over how many? 150, multiplied by 115, you will get your answer there when you say multiply by 115, you will get your answer which is 9,200. This is amount of bed, what? It's a bed inclusive. All right, you go to your D. Your D, in D you are given bed inclusive of 115, which means your 2,300 is equal to 115. You divide by 115, you multiply by, if you are looking for D, you multiply by what? This is exclusive. Exclusive is over how many percent? 100. You multiply by 100, therefore you get your answer. 2,300 divided by 115, um, multiply by multiply by 100. My answer will be 2,000, which means my answer for D is 2,000. You go to E. Your E, you are using the very same formula. Remember that E is the bet amount, and the bet amount is 15. Percent. So you do the very same thing, but then the only difference is that you multiply by by fifteen. Then you get your answer, which is uh, you multiply, you divide by what? You divide by one hundred and fifteen. You multiply by multiply by fifteen. Your answer is which is three hundred, which means your bet for e is three hundred. All right. The last one, you are given the bet amount, which is what? 15,000. Your 15,000 is on your best amount, which means it's equal to 15%. You divide by 15%. If you are looking for F, which means F is under exclusive. Exclusive is over 100%. You multiply by 100. So you say 15,000 divided by 15 multiplied by 100. Your answer should be 100 your answer should be 100,000. You are looking for G now. Your G, again, the very same principle applies all over 15. Your G is here, it's under inclusive. Inclusive is over 115. So you'll multiply by 115, then you'll get your answer. Multiply by 115, 